Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. So, this video is extremely detailed. Um, a lot of people don't know the first appearance of the black suit Spider-Man. Um, and honestly, either did I, until I did research. It took a long time to get everything and all the facts together. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start in reverse. Um, a lot of myths are gonna be busted here, I believe. Um, I'm gonna tell you from from probably from number 10 all the way down to number one and most of you aren't gonna even know half these books but this is really cool info so stick around before we start do me a favor hit that like button and subscribe too um, we got a lot of giveaways and all that stuff but I think you're really gonna be interested in this video so let's begin so first of all this is the black suit it evolved uh, which I'll tell you about later. I have this Bowen statue. I got it signed by Betty and uh, Zach. Um, but that's the black suit. I'm sure you all know if you're watching this already. So we're going to start backwards. So let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten books. And the first one I'm going to show you, you're going to like, isn't that the first black suit? It's amazing. So um, we're going to start the last one. So it's December 1984. Secret Wars number eight. So this book is actually the origin. Now, for years before this book and even before the first appearance, they hyped Secret Wars up. So before it even could get released, there were multiple appearances of the black suit before that, okay? So this is the number 10 kind of thing. Um, then, I'm going to show you a picture right now. Uh, okay, so there's three books that came out in May of 1984. There's, and I'm going to start with one of them, which I think is probably the third one at, in, in order. And this would be considered a cameo. It's on the last page of the book. And that is this one right here. So that book is Spectacular Spider-Man number 90. And that came out in May of 1984. So then, and they consider that a cameo. So then we have this next book I'm gonna show you in a picture right here. So that's Marvel Team Up number 141. That is tied for first appearance of the black suit Spider-Man. So there's another one. That book is Amazing Spider-Man number 252. This one is tied with Marvel Team Up number 141 as the first appearance. I guess they share it for whatever reason. So from Origin Secret Wars number eight to this book, we have four books. Now a lot of people say, oh yeah, that's the first appearance. Well, it's not. I mean, this could be considered the first full appearance, but if we're talking first true appearance, whether it's brief or whatever, there's a lot more. Um, what we have next is this book that I'm gonna show you, Marvel Age number 12. That one is March 1984. So that predates all the rest. So take a look at this one. So, now that we've got even farther, we're going to keep going. There's another book called Amazing Heroes number 39. And that was in January of 1984. And there was an appearance in there of them. I'll show you that right here. So then, before that... We have Heroes Hotline, which is another book, and that's December of 1983. So we're a year away earlier than the Origin Secret Wars number eight. I mean, they're all key, but that's another year away. So take a look at that one. Now, 
So it's kind of up in the air on this next one. I mean, not that it is an appearance, but it's also December of 1983. So I believe that my order is correct. We're going farther back, but at the same month is the comic reader number 215. Um, and that's also December 1983. Go ahead and take a look at that cover. So next, this would be number two, would be Amazing Heroes number 35. That's November of 1983. Now you can look these up, eBay or whatever, and you'll see they command a lot of money and they're hard to find. So I'll go ahead and let you look at that one right here. And last but not least, the number one, it's Comics Journal number 85, which is October 1983. And in this book, they talk about, or yeah, in, in there they have a picture, and they talk about Secret Wars, and they talk about the new black suit, and uh, that it was going to be black and red. So everything that's white would be red, and I'm guessing Black widow -y. Like, you know, that's what Black Widows look like. So, take a look at that really fast. You can also, I, I videoed on a picture um, of the paragraph of the Secret Wars story and, and about the Black Suits fighting. You can pause on there really fast and read it, um, and then come right back. So, basically, there was a contest. Uh, Jim Shooter, uh, editor for Marvel back then, um, I have him. I have him on all my books. He's signed and stuff like that. He uh, basically people wrote in a contest for some new thing character. So this guy, and I think it's from out of the country. His name is Randy Schuler. He won the contest, and Jim Shooter sent him a, a letter from Marvel. And said we'd like to buy your idea we might change the story and stuff but we'd like to buy your idea he bought the idea for 220 dollars so that's a steal um 1983 i still think that's not a lot of money back then i mean it's whatever it's probably like a grand now i i can't equate it but um that's incredible to me this 220 dollars so the artist sketched it originally and it looked basically like this Everything's the same, and you can see it in some of the pictures that I already looked at. Um, but it was going to be black and red. But I'm glad they went with white. And what's really uh, kind of upsetting is they were going to keep the black suit. Like, he was going to keep it. Um, but fans were complaining that they didn't like it. And so they immediately started writing ahead of time before they started writing all these books. Uh, to get it off them and whatever and go back to the old suit and then when they did that and they went to the new suit or the old suit red and blue and whatever uh, fans really liked the old suit so this is a big deal for Marvel back then I remember talking to Jim Shooter about the whole thing and he you know it was kind of his brainchild you know he's the one that bought it and all that and he brought it in that's when you start seeing these on the Marvel books um, kind of like bringing it to life and um, it changed Marvel because honestly from what I remember is Marvel was having issues so this changed everything Black Spidey so that is what I call my origin story for the Black Suit Spider-Man now if you hardcore collectors out there and you're trying to find those books that I mentioned in this good luck but for us for the regular well I don't know if I consider myself a regular collector but for most of us going for keys you want to get Marvel team up 141 you want to get this this is what those two books are what are considered the first appearance full appearance and of course always get this this book's always gonna be hot too I love this book I love the cover um, 
and uh, that's it. I might be going after Marvel uh, team up. I, I used to have a whole bunch at Marvel Age number twelve, which predates all three of those books: Amazing Spider-Man two fifty two, Marvel Team Up one forty one, and Spectacular Spider-Man number ninety. Um, also, Secret Wars eight, Marvel Team Up is two months before all that, and then all the rest are like magazine side or bigger books. But it would be cool to get that comics journal number eighty five with the you know all that cool stuff in there and all the info so i really hope you guys enjoy this video it took a while to put together um and i learned something and i hope you did too have a good one bye bye